Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I can create abstract shapes in Blender with geometry nodes. So let's get started. First hit Shift A and add a plane. Go to geometry nodes and click on new. Delete the group input and add a cube. Alt Shift click on it. Add a subdivide mesh node. Put that here and set the level to 2. Of course, the higher you set it, the more processing power it will need. Add an extrude mesh node, put that here, duplicate it and put one down here. Duplicate the subdivide mesh node and put that here. Now plug the mesh in here. By the way, if you want to have these timers here, you can go up here and enable timings. Add a join geometry node, put that here and plug this mesh in here. Add a random value node, put that here and plug the value into the offset scale. Set the minimum to minus one. Add a delete geometry node, put that here. Now plug the top into the selection. Add a Musgrave texture, duplicate it. I'm going to leave them at the default values, but you can change them if you want to. Add a mix RGB, put it here, and plug the height here into color 2. Here set the offset scale to minus 0.25. I think I'm going to increase the level here to 3, but like I said, be careful with that. For this extrude mesh node, let's disable individual. Add a set material node. Put that here and duplicate it and put it here. Now let's create two new materials. Click on the plus sign here and click on new again. Here select the first material and here the second one. Let's save now. Go to shading and go to rendered view. You're going to have to use circles for this. Under color I'm going to go to sky texture. Set the sun elevation to 5 and the air dust and zone to 3. Let's select the first material, delete the principal BSDF and add a subsurface scattering node. Control shift click on it. I'm going to set it to a light blue color like this. Now select the second material and delete the principal BSDF. Add a glass BSDF. Control shift click on it again and let's make this blue too, like this. Save again and go back to layout mode. Hit shift A and add a camera. Control Alt 0 to go into camera view and press G, set, set to move it in the local set axis. I'm going to position it somewhere around here. So I positioned it here. These are the coordinates if you want to use them. Go into rendered view. I want the light to come from behind, so let's go to the world properties and under sun rotation type in 260. Hit shift A and add an empty. This is going to be the focus object. Enable snapping here and select face project. Press G and now it's going to snap to the faces here. I'm going to put it here. Select the camera, go to the object data properties Enable the upper field and set the blades to 16. Select the empty. Now set the f step to somewhere around here, for example, 0.9. I think 0.5 looks even better. Now let's go to the render properties. I recommend that you don't use the noise here because it's not going to look good. To counter this, I'm going to set the max samples to 2560. Of course, you can lower the samples if it takes too long to render. Or if you want to, you can of course use a denoise, but I'm not going to. If you want to use it, I recommend that you go to compositing, enable use nodes, enable denoising data. Now, if you enable denoise here, you're going to get this extra output here. But like I said, I am not going to use it. Back in layout mode, go to color management and make sure the view transform is set to filmic and the look to very high contrast. Go back to viewport shading, save again and press F12 to render the image. 
So that's it for this tutorial, I hope you liked it, please let me know what to shoot the next and I'll see you next time.